here we go. The bridge. Let this car go by. It is not as loud as I thought it was going to be. So that's a good thing. It's really nice on the inside when you got your windows up or down. But the sound, the main, the main cackling sound is out at the back of the truck. Uh oh, uh oh, got a car club going on up here. Got the hood up, drift cars. Little town of Newton. From what I heard, little town of Newton is going to start having a car show up here in town where you just saw that open area back there where them cars were sitting that's where the car show is planned to be if not they'll move it down there to the river where the re, uh, Civil War reenactment takes place got a lot more space out there you know for that sort of thing but from what I've heard it's in the works they're working on it trying to plan it out you know about all that kind of thing but when I find out more about it y'all guys will find out more about it up here in the little town of Newton up north of uh, Dothan and south of Ozark so it's kind of like in the middle but just cruising in like at 35 mile an hour glass pack is just so here comes a building. Get this window down. would be terribly loud if I did cut my Cadillac converters off and ran true duels but that is a lot a lot a lot a lot of money the cats can be cut off like DYI do it yourself kind of stuff but and plus you can sell them and get a lot of money for them and that would probably help pay for the true duels but then when it's getting extremely loud it's just going to be stupid loud all the time everywhere you go you will be heard from two and a half miles away from the house especially going up a hill Got this fresh paved road. I'm hearing nothing but my all-terrain tires roaring on the asphalt. 
and just a little bit of a hum from the exhaust that's that that rpm right at the 50 mile an hour that's the sweet spot this is where you don't get no kind of interior noise inside the cab of the truck other than uh, tire noise from the tires but other than that it's subtle it's nice it's just deep enough and loud enough just to be noticed but not loud enough to be heard from miles away maybe mainly like uh, close distance like if I'm passing a house or something up here or going by a house and I give it a little gas like that they will hear me inside coming into Pinkard so that's it for this video there's not a lot of talking I let the truck do the talking for me mostly okay so the V8 engine 4.8 liter stock cats single pipe going into a single cherry bomb glass pack uh, Y piped af after that for my duels I got dual exhaust from their back. From the glass pack back is duals. So I could have one pipe on each side of the truck. And like I did when I went across the bridge, I could hear it out the driver's side. Like I like to hear, you know, it's equally the same sound that you're going to hear from the passenger side. You can hear the same from the driver's side and that's with a single glass pack with a Y pipe with a true duels it's gonna fluctuate a little bit <clears throat> now that's a bad looking truck right there too man that uh, GMC setting up here and pinkered all the time I have no idea who it belongs to, but whoever got that truck does not need to sell it because I'd be jumping all over it. Z71 four wheel drive, five three liter, decent amount of miles on it. Got some off road tires on it, li lifted up a little bit, looks like. Setting nice. All it needs is some a glass pack exhaust like what I got on my truck. That's all it needs and a little bit bigger tips than what I got. Maybe some fives. Five inch tips. And we're coming into some road work, of course. But you know what? We're talking about all-terrain tires on this channel road work don't stop us we just go into the mode called off road when the paved road fails trust an old dirt road to get you home those are some lyrics from a song Backwoods life. It's what you trust. City people sitting over there waiting for a pilot vehicle or whatever they're doing on these roads, paving the road again or something. On a Saturday of all things, they're supposed to be off. God, it look like we got some rain up in here. And a little bit of mud especially on this side of the dirt road right there 
some of my subscribers that know me personally that live in the area they know exactly what dirt road i'm on and you want to come mudding this is the place to come and do it up until you get about right here you're in residential neighborhood and i think somebody lives right there in a shop <laughs> that's what it looks like a shop that I need at, the, at my house <laughs> so I can work on this truck if it's raining I can work if it's sunny I can work cold hot like blazing hot summer I have a window unit up in that truck oh god look at that mood right there nothing but clay This is the original road that took you from Millen City to Newton, all the way through Pinkard. And this took you all the way to Dothan, believe it or not. Which that's where I'm heading, but I'm not, this road ends actually but the remnants of it is still visible in certain places. Long as we can keep it in use, it'll still exist. And it's not all that bad tore up. God, man, we got some mud coming up, and I just wa I didn't wash my truck, but I sprayed my truck off. But certain somebody that I'm talking to with a white Ford needs to come and check this out. And just come down through there and spray it one time. Just... <laughs> oh, man, we caught that perfect. Back on the asphalt road. 